on the coffee maker make sure that the water is um, full and make sure that it's only um, near the maximum area so and then put it on the back of the coffee maker and now you can turn on the plug and make sure that it's all ready before you turn on the coffee maker and then when it's green it means it's open so I have here the small jug the large jug and my glasses and then make sure that a coffee machine is turning green so what I'll do is I run the water so that I know that the water is um, hot enough to fill the coffee in there. Just do it for a few seconds so you know that it's ready to fill up a coffee. And now I'd like to put a hot water on my glass so when I do my coffee and milk it won't get cold very quick and now I'll press the steam button so I can try if the steam is working when it's turned green it means it's ready to use and you can steam uh, the coffee maker so you know that it's working and there's no milk residue in there I also use a red bird coffee for my espresso. I only use a one shot of coffee and put it in a filter holder and then shake it a little bit to distribute it on the filter holder and start pressing down gently so you can get a good espresso. If you press it too hard, the coffee will be dark or if you press it light, the coffee will be light color. So now put the filter holder in a boiler outlet to distribute the coffee. Put your coffee jug in front of the filter holder and make sure that the bottom is color green before you start it. I normally use 120 ml milk on my coffee. Make sure that the steam button is color green before you prop your milk. So when the milk is done, just top it twice or thrice and then um, shake it a little bit so the milk will be distributed evenly. So now let's pour the coffee.
and now the coffee is ready you can add syrup in your coffee or you can add a chocolate so it makes a mocha latte enjoy